Hi and welcome. Just thought I'd record this short video just to give you a bit of an overview of a little solar project that I've been working on during the holiday break. As you know, um, if you've been following our Flickr feed, you would have known that we've per recently purchased a uh, Kimberley camper trailer. This trailer actually has four 35 amp hour um, lithium batteries in it. And they can be charged in a variety of ways. Uh, the most uh, common way that uh, people charge them when they're uh, sitting uh, here is just simply using uh, the mains power and you use one of these little uh, adapters which uh, basically allows you to interface the 10 amp domestic type connection to the 15 amp uh, type of uh, AC connector that's on caravans and camper trailers. It also provides a little uh, circuit breaker there if you go over the 10 amps. The other way that uh, the batteries can be charged is um, uh, from this little uh, solar panel that is uh, here. It's 25 watt, typically just a sort of solar conditioner. But you can also plug in external solar panels when you're out uh, camping uh, to charge the batteries. But the situation that I'm wanting to address is where the camper is stored here uh, with a cover on uh, for periods of time. There is a, a bit of a uh, drain on the batteries just sitting here doing nothing from the electronics inside the camper, around 200 milliampers or so. So you do need to have a little bit of a trickle charge just to keep the batteries uh, in good shape. Now initially what I did was I, I purchased one of these fantastic uh, flexible amorphous solar panels. It's a uni, uni, made by Unisolar uh, um, and they're 68 watt. It's worked, it worked really well so when the, when the cover is on the trailer it's just rolled over the top. However what I've had a hankering to do for a while is actually build a solar array uh, mounted on a pole and I sourced this fantastic uh, kit uh, from affordable solar mounts. Uh, in America um, by a fellow and, and Mark sells these kits at a really great price and they come with this little uh, mounting bracket which sits on a, on, a, on a pole and you can see I've got a pole over there it's about 42 mil or so I, and then he also sells the rails with the kit now they come uh, standard 2.1 meters however he will cut them to the length to suit your panels and I told him the size of these panels and he pre-cut them and sent them to me. Uh, this is the heavy duty variety, there is also a slightly smaller a smaller one if you just had one, one panel for instance. Now just on these panels, uh, now I'll just turn them around so you can have a look at them, these are, these are unisonal panels as well and they are 62 watt and I'll just turn them around so you can see them. If I just turn this around now, you can see they are what are referred to as amorphous solar panels. Mostly what you see on houses are what's called monocrystalline panels. Uh, amorphous are slightly different in that they're a lot sort of thinner and they can be flexible. In fact, this is an amorphous panel here as well. They can actually roll up. But these have been mounted on a piece of thin uh, um, plastic or polycarbonate. Now, the nice thing about these is that they work well in uh, shaded environments where you get uh, the sun coming through uh, trees. In our case, we've got lots of lovely eucalypts and we frequently will get ca shadows cast onto the panels. The panels are divided up into these various sections which have diodes on them. So uh, if one panel is shaded, then the other panel still can perform well. They also uh, characteristically work well at higher temperatures, say over 30 degrees C, uh, they still have good efficiency. So the next uh, part of this project is to get my pole in, cemented into the ground, uh, a little over there somewhere, uh, and get my solar panel on top, and uh, I'll, um, I'll um, finish off this uh, video when, uh, when that's done. Hi, and welcome back. As you can see, uh, the solar array has now been uh, installed. Uh, we uh, cemented in the pole and we put the array on top of it and have wired it all up and it's all working beautifully. The uh, solar panels here have been connected in parallel uh, using some uh, MC4 solar uh, connectors that I sourced on eBay uh, and then that has been wired to a lead which goes to an Anderson plug which goes straight into the trailer. Uh, 
The trailer has its own built-in MPPT solar charger, so I don't need to worry about that. It'll do all the work uh, managing the uh, voltage um, between the solar cells and the, and the battery. Uh, we have aligned it, uh, and this is adjustable of course, uh, to about 70 odd degrees here because at this time of the year the sun is at a, around that elevation. And of course we're in the southern hemisphere, uh, so we've pointed it uh, north. And uh, yes, it's, it's all working beautifully well. So what did it cost? Well, the two solar cells were sourced on eBay. Uh, within Australia actually for about $200 each. Uh, the mounting array um, was from affordable solar mounts in the US for about $150 and the MC4 cables uh, around $30 or so got those on the internet as well from the US uh, and some cabling and the Anderson plug was all got from JCAR. So all in all uh, around $600. Uh, really quite reasonable, I think. A future project is actually to put a waterproof box at the base of the uh, pole and put a battery in there and I will use that stored power to charge or run um, the 12 volt pump for the fountain in the garden and also uh, install some LED effect lighting. So well, it'll be used for multiple purposes other than charging the trailer. So all in all, a really successful project and thanks for watching and if you have any questions or queries feel free to add them in the comments field.